So there's a lot of young women clearly who who look up to you and um, who you've mentored over the course of your early career. What would you tell your 16 year old self? Um, I would say that you will grow into your boobs. <laughs> um, and that... <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't ready for that one. Yeah. I'm your host, Mike Lynn, and we are talking about life, love, and leadership with Pittsburgh native Sabrina Saunders Mosby. You are currently the new director and CEO. So could you tell us a little bit of, about Coro? The organization works to train diverse civic leaders. Uh, we provide them with the tools necessary to engage and empower communities in Pittsburgh. Our fellows rotate between government, corporate, and nonprofit sectors, understanding every facet of the areas that make our communities work. From what I understand, you have different divisions. So you have um, women in leadership. You actually, I think it's a program called Next, where you go into certain neighborhoods like Homewood and Wilkinsburg, and you're developing leaders there. So tell us about like you actually going into the neighborhood. The work that we do at Coral Pittsburgh is so important here for our region, mainly because we have an older population here in Western Pennsylvania, right? And so a number of those individuals are going to be retiring and we're training the next wave of leadership. We are going into communities uh, like Homewood and Wilkinsburg and Still Rocks uh, as a part of our five-year strategic plan. We are going to infuse every bit of resources that we have, all of the talent and trainers that we have into those communities uh, because we want to work with them uh, to ensure that all of our neighborhoods thrive. Well, you were with Strong Women, Strong Girls, which is it's more of a mentoring foundation mm -hmm. for young women, for three years. Yes. <laughs> At what point did you decide that it was time to make a decision? So when did I decide that it was time to transition? What made me ready was me deciding, right? Uh, there was a moment when I decided, yes, this is my time, and um, that I had the skills and um, the passion to do this work and that I had something to bring to this organization mm -hmm. and uh, you know so I leaked. You're originally you're from the east side you're from Garfield yep. right and so tell us a little bit about growing up in Garfield. I grew up in Garfield in a time when we still had gangs and there was a lot of violence. Um, I feel like I was shielded a lot from that. Yeah. Um, my mom invested in my education mm -hmm. and consistently had me busy in all kinds of activities so that I could stay focused and it's something that I try to ensure young people get today because of my own experience. A lot of people don't know this but you know I've so I've been robbed at gunpoint. I have uh, also traveled the world and so even though there were negatives there were also positives and I embrace all the positive things and uh, understand how the negative ones prepared me for life. You know, anyone who follows you on social media or just knows you personally, um, they know that your mantra is smile and move. So growing up, my mother always had to tell me to smile and to change that frown. Uh, and I recognize that, you know, what you present, you know, it sends off a certain kind of vibe. Uh, and what you put out there, you, you sometimes get back, almost always I think you get back. Mm -hmm. Honestly, more often you need to be able to move. Um, you can't stay stuck and stagnant in situations. You have to move. You ever in your life, and I'm assuming that you have because I feel like we probably all have, failed at something. And how has how you deal with failure evolved over the span of your early life? Failure is so important. Um, understanding that you have life after failure is so vitally important, I should say. I, I appreciate yeah. your sentiment because failure is a part of the growth process. Absolutely, and mm -hmm. we, we tell that to every single one of our leaders that go through Coro Pittsburgh's programming. Mm -hmm. Experiencing failure is a gift. It really is. Mm -hmm. um, it makes you stronger. Uh, the grit that I have is because I failed at some things, yeah. uh, personally and professionally. Yeah. And you just have to learn from them. That's my smile and move. So just continue to 
be great. Continue to make your presence known in this city. Um, you're doing great things and you um, too. You're doing amazing things. Thank you. I'm following the way that you're you're branding yourself and the work and, and providing exposure for everyone in uh, this region. It's really remarkable. It's something that's needed. And so I appreciate you and the work that you're doing. Thank you. Do you see how she started interviewing me? Like <laughs> this this is the hallmark of a leader, but no. Thank you and um, we need you. We need you. So continue. So nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.